So, you're thinking of studying theatre or acting at the University of Melbourne? Great choice. These courses have creativity and collaboration at their heart. Within a supportive, industry-focused environment, you'll develop a command of acting skills and a working methodology that will long serve you in your performance career on stage or screen. Class sizes are small, so you get the most out of these practice-led courses. You just need to pick your specialisation. Theatre? Or acting. You can apply for both courses. You will need to submit applications and attend separate auditions for each course. Just be aware, if you are offered a place in one course, you won't be able to transfer to the other. The application process for theatre and acting consists of three parts. Part one, your University of Melbourne application form. Head to the university's website to apply directly for the course and pay your application fee. Applications open in August for the following year. Don't forget to leave yourself some time to meet the University of Melbourne's English language requirements, which can be found on the university's study website. You'll want to check the website for the day applications close. This is very important because you need to have part one and part two of the application process done by this date. Part two, your supplementary application form. Once you've applied for your course, you will be sent a link to complete a supplementary application form. The form will ask for a short personal statement about why you're interested in joining the course. What artists or works inspire you from any creative discipline. And what training, achievements and professional experience you have in theatre, acting and performance. We like to put a face to a name, so upload a headshot with your application. It should be current, but it doesn't have to be professionally shot. Theatre applicants, you will have an extra opportunity to detail any performance that you've made or performed in. There is a fee to submit a supplementary application form, which can be waived for exceptional circumstances. Part three, your audition. It's time to see you perform. You'll be asked to record an audition and upload it with the supplementary form submission. For recorded auditions, begin it with a short introduction about who you are, where you're from and why you're interested in joining the course. If you're applying for both courses, you will need to prepare a separate video submission for each course. The camera should be still and capture your full body. So no close-ups or mid-shots. Announce the title before each piece and film all monologues in one take with no edits. Hot tip, make a great first impression and present your strongest material first. Applicants will be selected to attend a live or virtual callback from these recorded auditions. You'll find a guide on the university's study website to help you prepare for your recorded audition. For the acting audition, you'll need to prepare and memorise three contrasting monologues, each roughly two to three minutes in length. One classical and two contemporary. The classical monologue must be selected from the list of heightened texts provided. When selecting your contemporary monologues, one should be chosen from the list provided. The second may be chosen from plays written after 1950. For each monologue, you'll be expected to have read the entire play, so be prepared to discuss them in the callbacks. The monologue selection booklet will be available to download from the university's website from August. Lastly, you'll need to prepare 16 bars of any song to be sung without backing track or accompaniment. Hot tip! It's less about how well you can sing and more about your vocal production and ability to interpret lyrics. For the theatre audition, applicants must create their own original two to three minute performance. This is your opportunity to create a performance that highlights your abilities and interests. Devised performance criteria is included in the monologue selection booklet. You will also need to prepare and memorise two contrasting monologues, each two to three minutes long, selected from the list provided. One classical and one contemporary. As with acting, applicants must prepare 16 bars of any song to be sung a cappella. Hot tips. If you're auditioning for both theatre and acting, you can use the same monologues. Try to present your monologues in a way that shows a deep understanding of the text. And perform in your natural accent. Without any props or costumes. What happens after the audition? You'll be given plenty of notice if you've been shortlisted to attend the callbacks. This is your opportunity to demonstrate your passion for acting and to ask questions about the course. This is the hard part, waiting for your outcome. We won't leave you waiting for too long though. If you've successfully met all the entry requirements for the course and passed the audition and interview, you'll receive an email with your formal offer in December. If you've not been successful, don't be disheartened. 
Many of our most successful students and alumni, even some of us, have applied multiple times before receiving their place. Once you receive an offer, you can accept it online and get started enrolling in your course subjects. Best of luck. We can't wait for you to join us.